What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Ultra Weapon Girls, a brand new, yet another brand new waifu collector starring mechanically enhanced waifus for your collection pleasure. Um, this title just came out about a week ago. However, it is not available on iOS, but if you're on Android and you're looking for that special mechanically enhanced waifu collector for you, Ultra Weapon Girls just might be the title that you're looking for. Now, you guys know what I always say when it comes to Games like this a mechanically enhanced waifu collector is clearly only as fun as the mechanically enhanced waifus that you can collect so let's start there shall we um so here are the characters and of course they are waifus mixed with military grade equipment as you guys can see this woman has like b-52 bomber jet strapped to her feet with a camera like what why is this camera there uh, let's keep going she has like tank treads on her feet okay that's cool she's kind of normal so all right good there um this is my poster child here so i love her keep on rolling here this poor girl maria priest maria literally just has a tank strapped to her back that one's probably not the most creative but we'll take it um this one literally just running around with like a tank gun on her shoulder and this string that I don't know what that string does but it's there for something um this one she's just she's just drinking a pop or a soda, depending on what you know side of the nation that you live on. Um, so that's that. This one's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so you kind of get a feel for what the artwork looks like. And then here's something right here that if your mom walked on, walked in on you playing Ultra Weapon Girls, she could see this and be like, hey, just a video game, no big deal. Thank you, thank you Ultra Weapon Girls for, for having something like this in the game. I appreciate that. Um, same thing with Emmy, you know, very kind of normal character here with skis and ski poles. For whatever reason um but that is what the heroes or the mechanically enhanced waifus in this game look like so let's jump over to combat now i must give you a warning ladies and gentlemen if you are under the age of 18 i don't know if this is like a real rule but i'm about to make it a rule right now if you're under the age of 18 you probably do not want to look at combat in this game be warned be warned <laughs> now no one's leaving now no one's leaving all right so i'm going to do combat here let's go ahead and just Put a little auto team setup. This is gonna be really quick one because we're climbing a ladder. Um, but as you guys can see, your typical hero collector HP bars with ultimate meters um, that kind of build up. Once you build up your ultimate meter, you can do an ultimate. There you go. There's the ultimate right there. Times two speed and auto along with summoner. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That completely got me out of like everything that I was talking about. Um, let's do some more combat. Look at this. I like her. Churchill. That's a cool looking character. Let's do some more combat so I can keep showing you what it looks like here. Here's a more. That is a cool character. Man. All right. See it one more time. Three times for FG. All right. Times two speed. Autoplay. HP bars. Your, your ultimate meter builds up over time where your characters do ultimates. And then you have three summoner abilities. One deep. Is, is this what my channel has become, ladies and gentlemen? Like, I don't even, I, I didn't, I didn't like anticipate this. I didn't say, you know what, I'm going to make a YouTube channel and I'm going to cover <laughs> waifu collectors. That That is my dream, all right? I want to cover waifu collectors just like this. And ladies and gentlemen, if you think that that is just the extent of this video, the video can't get any worse or better, depending on your, uh, your, uh, your viewpoint. Um, there's more, there's more. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's three summoner abilities, DPS, support, and heals. <sighs> I don't even know. All right. Well, that's combat. That's combat. I'll leave you to your own devices, literally. Um, but let's go back out to the home screen so I can show you what other methods of gameplay are in the game. Um, so I just showed you uh, drill mode, which is basically like um, this 15-step ladder you can do every single day, reset, and then blitz it again. Um, pretty straightforward. You have a campaign with normal, hard, and heroic, not showing you anything you haven't seen before there. You three-star the stage, you move on. Um, there are um, blitz, or they call them rushes in this game. So once you've completed a stage, you can simply rush it in order to get the materials there um, that you're going to need to upgrade your mechanically enhanced waifu. So that is that. So nothing too crazy there. Uh, challenge mode is what your, your daily resource grinds look like. Um, so you go in these stages, you can do them two times a pop. And these just allow you to get things like um, experience points and food and things like that to kind of level up your waifus. Um, so moving on, and I'm trying to get to one specific part of this game. 
<laughs> and I'm trying to I'm trying to still be professional though. All right. Um, this is actually a pretty interesting mode. So it's called force mode. Now, if you watch one of my videos um, when I covered girls frontline, this mode really reminds me of girls frontline. I'm not really going to show you this because it kind of it's a little bit slow. But you are set up on this map here, and you kind of send your waifus on these little pathways to kind of take over these bases. Uh, in an attempt to take over the enemy base. It plays really like a kind of like a dumbed down version of Girls Frontline. So really quite interesting that it made its way into like a side mode in another game. So um, that is that. And as you can see, there are different modes there that are open at specific times of the day. FG, get to the thing that you wanted to show us. Chill, man, chill. Um, there is, of course, arena. Um, and I really like this arena because you can just rush through it. You don't have to watch any of it. Boom, look at that. Or you can challenge things that are slightly more powerful than you. However, there is a skip function. So three, two, one, done. Mission failed, obviously. Um, so there you go. So if you're one of those people that just were like, you know what, L let me just get my rewards. I don't want to watch my AI versus AI PVP combat because really you're not really doing anything when it comes to that. You can just simply rush through it, get your rewards, and then boom, you've done your daily for today. Um, you get five arena attempts per day. Pretty straightforward. Um, Ace combat and top duel are two additional modes that unlock in the future, um, but I have not gotten to this level. I'm level 26 in this video, um, which is a good, you know, about two or three days worth of gameplay to get there. So um, that is that. Um, the only mode that I don't have unlocked in this version of the video or in this video is the mine, which I can't imagine it being too special, um, but that is that. Um, there is a tailor here, so you can actually unlock different costumes for your waifus. Um, FG, get to the point where you, I, all right, fine, fine. <laughs> Let me do one mode and then I'll show you the next one, all right? God, I tell you. Um, of course, this game has one of those modes where you send your characters out on missions and they come back in like five hours with uh, rewards and things like that. So, what else does this game have? So, it has a hospital. This is really weird, all right? So, <laughs> so over time, your waifus, the more you use them, the more tired they get. So you have to bring them to the hospital, all right? Sounds pretty nice and wholesome so far. You are welcome on my Minecraft server with this type of uh, gameplay mode, all right? So she's looking pretty sad. She needs some help. So let's go ahead and drag her over to the hospital and get her, oh my God. <laughs> Why? All right, sorry guys, I gotta I got fix her. As you can plainly see, she's not having a good day. So I'm gonna take this syringe. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna try to uh, make sure I get it here in the orange. I'm gonna use all my gamer skills over my entire course of my life to nail this on the first try. Oh, whatever. And then for whatever reason, that happens. Why, why does the, the syringe need to, <laughs> I have no idea why it needs to do that. Um, but for whatever reason, the game thought that was a good idea for that to happen. So you uh, you have to kind of balance out using waifus. Oh, my God. You have to balance out using your waifus and making sure that they stay nice and healthy um, by uh, throwing a syringe juice all over them for whatever reason. Come on. Can I get one in this video? Not a single one. All right. I'm, I'm pretty aware that there is a more explicit version of this game. So this is like the PG-13 borderline R version, but there you go. Of course, you have daily quests and things like that to uh, <laughs> to partake in. I don't even know how to recover from this video from this point out. Um, here are your summoner skills that you can upgrade over time. Um, pretty straightforward here. As you kind of go through stages, you will get a, a research material that will allow you to do that. Um, so that's that. Course of Friends list. Um, this game, of course, has a guild system, AKA Legion. So you can join a Legion. Um, you guys can donate fragments of different waifus together. Um, there is a thing called a Legion Guard where you can kind of put waifus in here and over time they will gain experience points. So that gives you kind of another method to kind of level up your characters without always having to use um, your own uh, food. So that's that. Um, then of course there is a method here where you can donate to your Legion in order to make the Legion more powerful, um, giving your entire Legion passive stats. That is a cool little waifu there. So you got tank skates. You got tank skates. That's cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's kind of your Legion mode. Nothing too crazy when it comes to guilds. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and collect all of my research materials there. Now, one thing that this game does do that I actually find really interesting that I want to see other hero collectors do, believe it or not, this game does have a pretty unique uh, mode here. So 
Um, it's called Nation. Now, as you can see, all of the different waifus that you can collect in this game belong to a very um, stereotypical nation. I'll leave you to, de the, to decide which nation these things are. So you have Eagle, you have Lion, you have Bear, and you have Tiger. So one big issue that other hero collectors just haven't quite solved yet is that once you've been playing the game for an extended period of time, there's really not a reason to go back and level up low tier units, but in a mode like this, so let me give you an example. Um, so let's say that you're Bear, right? Um, so as you level up this basic character, even though you're not using her, she provides passive stats for all of your other characters that fall under the Bear Nation. And the same thing for Tiger. So I can level up this girl right here, never use her, but she still will provide um, passive stats for everyone else under that nation's tree. So I think that's actually a pretty creative way of, once again, influencing and encouraging players to not forget about the rare characters, even though they have no plans on ever bringing them into combat. Um, and I think that kind of, you know, uh, helps lengthen the longevity of a hero collector. So that's the most serious thing I'm gonna say about this game. I actually think that's a pretty cool feature. Um, but other than that, <laughs> um, there is a world boss mode here at level 32, which I haven't unlocked. And level 45, it unlocks a practice mode. So um, that is Ultra Weapon Girls in a nutshell. Yes, of course, you can kind of, hold on, hey. Hey, there you go. There, there you go. Give me one of your shards. Um, of course, this game had like a dating mode where you can give them here. Eat this. Uh, eat this. Uh. <laughs> All right, fine. Got to do it the right way. <laughs> Here's some cake. Here's a pen. Eat this too. Here's one more pen. Are you happy? There you go. Hey, now she likes me a little bit more. There you go. Now, as you kind of, you know, get to know your waifu a little better, she will tell you secrets about herself. Um, so you can go in her secret book and, you know, her age is unlocked just yet. So we don't really, you don't know. For whatever reason, you got to get her to favor eight. You got to go in like 80 dates with her before you actually find out how old she is. I kind of feel like that should be the first thing that unlocks, but I digress. Um, so that is that. Um, you can also train them by like sending them to a dance room and a pool. Um, you don't get to see anything like lane girls, for example, but um, that is that. So yeah, ultra weapon girls, ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll end this video off by doing a few summons. So we're gonna go over here to supply and then we are just gonna burn out all of our cash shop currency here to kind of see what kind of waifus we can collect here. All right, there we go. Got 18 tickets. Let's go ahead and open up these 10. And not a, not a very like, eh, the summoning animation is not great. They could have they could have did better. All right. And here we go. Already have you. All right, let's keep going. Oh, this looks like it's going to be good. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, look at these outfits. This is like pretty like, you know what? Like I said, your mom can walk in on you. Your dad can walk in on you and be like, hey, that's just a game that kids play, man. That's just a game that kids play. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, man, I'm going to have to open these up one by one now. Let's kind of run through these as fast as we can. See if there's anything else in here worth getting. Um, you can also get gear, as you can see. So not just characters or fragments. You also get just gear, which is... Oh, there's a open more button. Hold on. Get it together, FG. Some steak, not really exciting there. Oh, here comes something else. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is Spitfire Alice. Another good little, yeah, man, look at this. This game is fine. <laughs> Blueprint, and then I think this is the last summon. And then some shards, oh, there's more. And got another one of you, Sherry. And then, of course, your duplicates go into, um, you know, increasing the star ranking or your uh, your already unlocked character. So let's see. Who did I get that was kind of... She's actually pretty cool. Natalie? Not a bad little design there. I like that, actually. There you go. There you go. That's how we'll end the video. So anyway, guys, my name is FG3000. This was a look at Ultra Weapon Girls, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you apparently in the next Mechanically Enhanced Waifu Collector because first we had Girls Frontline, we had Az Azura Lane, we had Lane Girls, and now we have Ultra Weapon Girls. There's no excuse for you not to be playing one of these Mechanically Enhanced Waifu Collectors. There's one for everyone now, all right? One for everyone. Let's do one more, hold on. Let's do one more. <laughs> all the kids have left the room, it's fine. I mean, who, who needs to be monetized on every video, you know? 
Like, do you need every video monetized? No, FG, you don't. All right, every now and then you can just skip a little bit. <laughs> one more, one more. Oh, it's the one we just unlocked too. How, how fitting. <laughs> All right, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, sorry. See you guys next video, later.